Alrighty guys, Brian from Blitz Car Detailing here, just a quick little video. Uh, last night having dinner with the farm, my wife's parents and they uh, gave me a little toolbox and I had no idea what to do with it until I had an idea. Now what my idea was, was a bit of a detailer's caddy. Now I'm a big fan of um, AMC Ammo and um, Auto Fetish YouTube channels out of America and seeing what they do with a detail caddy quite amazes me because it means I don't have to go back and forth to the work car, I just take out this basic toolbox has everything I've got in it and I go from there so I'll show you what it looks like so guys here we have it right here just a basic toolbox it's nice and wide it's gonna fit quite a lot of my buffing pads products applicator pads chemicals stuff like that I just whip it out of the back seat take it to the job and there it goes alrighty guys as you can see down there this is a little example of what I carry for polishing or cutting polishing an average car we've got right down there we've got the orbital buffer usually one or two of those Three or four pads per car, it really just depends on how far gone the paint is. We've got masking tape, we've got lots of microfiber cloths, we've got the wax polishes themselves and the applicator pads. So that right there, this is the type of things that we're taking to and from the car all the time. So this is what I thought coming into uh, making a detail caddy, fit everything I need in there, taking it out and now I'm just going to and from there. Alright guys, so now it's on to the painting part of the job. Now I just had some nice grey paint lying around, nothing too flash. I've given it a quick sand, a quick clean, stuff like that. Now we're just going to give it two, two and a half, three coats of paint. And that's mainly just so, you know, at least it looks the part for a while, so it stops the water from rotting it, stuff like that. Now I've uh, given the inside um, about three coats and the outside two. And then um, from there, it's uh, going to probably take about two hours to dry. And then I'm going to whack on some stickers, which I'll show you next. So there's the finished product right there, quite happy with that. Um, but yeah, as long as it carries stuff and does a job, I'm keen. So guys, while I was waiting for the paint to dry, I noticed I had a couple of vinyl stickers left from my car. Now, perfect, I've just found out the Aussie flags will fit perfectly on the end and the Blitz car detailing letters will fit on the sides. So uh, yeah, and they're black, so I think they're gonna stand out nice against the gray. So Alrighty, so what I'm doing here is just attaching the vinyl graphics. Maybe I'll uh, do another video of that another day, but they're just a basic stick-on kind of label. So I had them left over from another guy. Um, and there we go, finished product, sitting on top of the barbecue there, just a bit of a black barbecue cover to give it some contrast, but well, I'm kind of impressed, so three hour job in the backyard, I don't know, might have saved me a few bucks, but you know, what can you do? Look at that, well, I'm happy that'll do the job.